we have a little time here, so we're going to try uh, our exercise number four. And this is uh, the present progressive question form. Last time we talked about statement and negative. So again, this is the question form of present progressive or, <coughs> excuse me, present continuous. Sometimes I'll just call this the ING form. So let's read through the structure here. We have um, to, to review last time. Statement, I am doing, he is working, she is going, it is staying, we are doing, you are working, they are going or staying or any ing. Now to make a, a um, yes no question, that's what this box is, yes no, it's very similar to what we did in the first or second lesson. You just, um, for the question form, you just change these two, change the order of these two. So, for example, am I doing, is he working, is she going, is it staying, are we doing, are you working, or are they going, or staying, or any ing verb. So when you think about these questions, am I working, am I working? These will be answered again, <coughs> excuse me, with yes or no. Over here, this uh, lady is looking at her, who is that, her, her husband uh, under the table there. And um, she's saying, she's saying, what are you doing? And we'll look at that form below. That's the WH uh, question form. But even at this point, if you look at this, you'll see right here, are you doing? That's the form we just looked at here with the WH uh, word in the front. So, you know, I've just taken my chances here, see if anybody's awake or watching or has questions. So I'll just ask my own question. Questions? Um, if not, let's uh, continue. So now we just have some uh, some examples. And I'll just uh, read them to you. And is that a question? No. Somebody commented, but that's not a question. Um, so I'll just read these to you. And again, the more you read, the better, right? You should repeat these many times. So I'll just read to you.
Are you feeling okay? Notice that's yes, no. Yes, I'm fine, thanks. Is it raining? Yes, take an umbrella. Okay, now uh, here, 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 and here, uh, and here, at least half. Now we're uh, extending this to WH questions. So just for now, listen to this structure. Why are you wearing a coat? It's not cold. What is or what's Paul doing? He's reading the newspaper. What are the children doing? They're watching television, TV. Look, there's Emily. Where is she going? Where's she going? And uh, who are you waiting for? So that's a WH question. And then this question, are you waiting for Sue? That's a yes, no question. So these first uh, two are yes, no. Then uh, all of these are WH, and that last one is yes, no. So let's look at the yes, the WH structure. But let's see if anybody has questions. So for the WH. The WH structure is right here, and uh, there's really not too much to it. And we'll we'll start with a little uh, a little summary here. These first two. This is repeating the um, the yes no. So, is he working today? Yes or no. Is Paul working today? Yes or no. And this just reminds you, don't say that. And I, I'm not even going to read that because that's not the right. Order so you you want to say and repeat this order is Paul working today? Now these last two show you the W H structure, so you start with the where or who or what or why or how or when. Start with that word. And then the rest is the same. So where are they going? Or where are those people going? Not this order. I'm not even going to read it because you, you shouldn't be hearing that. So if, you, if you're one who likes uh, formulas, you like a math person or an engineering person, this is the formula here. It's the is or are or am plus the subject plus the ing form. And if you have a wh word, that's here. Now, <clears throat> I think 
we have uh, we have one more little piece here, which is the um, short answer. So let's let's move down there. Okay, so these are the these are the short answer forms, which are very common ways to answer. And these are short answers for yes, no. So um, very similar again to our lesson one and two. In the affirmative, yes, there's only one choice. We, we don't make contractions. So you'll say, yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. So that's it. No contraction. No other form for the affirmative. And if you remember to be the negatives, there's two forms except for I. So there's no... I should really put it here. There's no second form for I in the negative contraction, short answer. So we can say, <coughs> no, I'm not. And that's the only way with the subject I. But with the others, we can say, no, he's not, or no, he isn't. And it's your choice. You, like we said before, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You pick whatever you like. 50-50. We can say, no, she's not, or no, she isn't. We can say, no, it's not, or no, it isn't. No, we're not. No, we aren't. No, you're not. Or no, you aren't. No, they're not. Or no, they aren't. So, two forms, two forms for the negative except with I, only one form. So a couple of examples here. A couple of examples. Let me move my, my face. Uh, first one, are you leaving now? Yes, I am. Only answer. Is Paul working today? Yes, he is. Only answer. Is it raining? Okay, we can say, no, it isn't. Or we can say, no, it's not either one your choice no it isn't or no it's not same idea here are your friends staying at a hotel no they aren't they're staying with me or no they're 
No, they're not. They're staying with me. So two answers, no, they aren't, or no, they're not. Either one, you, you pick 50-50, your choice. So while I chew a little, see if there's any questions. I'll ask myself questions. I suppose where you are, it's, uh, I don't know, what is it here? It's almost four. I suppose everyone's asleep midnight or early in the morning where you are. No, no insomniacs. No insomniacs in some niacs, no insomniacs, question mark. Okay, so let's try some exercises now. And again, the more you say them, the better. The more you repeat them. And don't forget, if you're new to all of this, uh, this exercise available at this uh, blue link up on the, up, uh, up, up here, right above my head. Okay, so first exercise, we have some pictures, and all you have to do is look at the picture and uh, write a question, if I can find my pen. So the first one's done for you, and um, all of these are going to be... Um, if you look quickly at the answers, they're all going to be yes, no questions. Look, look at the answers, no, yes, no, yes, no, and no. So these are all yes, no questions. So the first one, you watch it, and the question is, are you watching it, and he uses it because look at the answer. No, you can turn it off. You could also say, are you watching the TV, or are you watching it? Th those all work. Okay, now number two. Uh, this one's asking this this woman who looks like she's going out the door. So uh, you leave now. That's going to be R. You and the I N G. Are you leaving now? No, no E in leaving. Are you leaving now? Yes, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Okay, let's move my ugly face over here. So, number three. Uh, <clears throat> this one is, is asking her uh, colleague uh, really about the weather out here. So, it rain. Notice we use it when we're talking about weather. So, we say, uh, is it raining? No double N. 
because no, this is not consonant. Or here, actually, this is not consonant, vowel consonant. Or what's that on my head? I'm having dots on my head. So, uh, is it raining? Uh, no, not right now. And of course, you know, we could answer, short answer, number two, you could say, yes, I am. Number three, no, it's not, or no, it isn't. Okay, number four, uh, these two people, these uh, silhouettes of people here, they're watching a movie, maybe on a date. And so uh, it looks like he is asking her, so he says, so the, the words here, you enjoy the movie? Are you enjoying the movie? Are you enjoying the movie? Yes, it's very funny. A short answer, yes, I am. Okay, the, these people in number five, they're in a, a lecture hall class. They're looking at the clock up here. That clock work? And the uh, classmate says, no, it's broken, or no, it isn't, or no, it's not. Is that clock working? Is that clock working? No, it's broken. Number six, you wait for a bus. Notice the sign, bus stop. And uh, so she's, she asks the question, he says, no, for a taxi, or no, the only answer, short answer would be, no, I'm not, on, only one short answer. So she's asking, are you waiting for a bus. Are you waiting for a bus? No, for a taxi. Okay, I'm going to move on, maybe go a little quicker today, more quickly. the next exercise. More pictures. So where do we put, uh, put me, we'll put me over here. Um, now we have uh, every question here is WH. So, uh, how do I know that? Because everyone starts with WH. WH word. And you have to use these verbs up here to ask the WH question. This is in the ING form. So I'm going to, while you're looking at that, I'm going to eat a little piece of orange. This is a uh, beautiful mandarin. Delicious. I wish I could offer you one. 
So uh, the first one, this guy wants to know, so WH questions you, you want some information. So he asks, uh, he starts with the WH word, what, and then are you reading? What are you reading? So that's not yes, no. She'll say um, something like, oh, a book. Or she'll give the name of the book. Or a story. Or some text, some text book. The next one, number two, uh, they're looking at her, and so this guy asks, where is she, and what's, what verb fits here, where is she, she she's, if, if you look very closely, you see exit, aha, exit. So, where is she, this one, where is she going, where is she going? And so the answer, home, or to lunch, or to, to her friend's house, some information. Uh, number three, this looks like a maybe a piece of chicken. So she wants to know what are you now if you look very closely his mouth is kinda it's like my mouth. It's full of his cheek. The mouth is full of something. So you might think he's looking at something, but more um, more fitting here is the verb eat. What are you eating? What are you eating? And so his answer, chicken, or maybe a, looks like a chicken Drum stick, we call that, it's chicken leg, drum stick. Number four, well, this a little boy, you see the um, tears coming from his eyes and he's, his mouth is open. So the mother wants to know, why are you, what? This one, right? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Well, because blah, blah, blah. So some information. Because, because uh, I, I hurt my knee. Okay, now these, these people, specifically this guy, he's pointing at two people. So he's asking, what are they, because that's two people, what are they, and it must be this, what are they looking, what are they looking at? And maybe she'll say, oh, an airplane or a, a UFO, a UFO, or someone on a tall building. So, UFO, unidentified flying object. And the last one, um, she, she, uh, 
she is pointing at, at this guy. So why is he and uh, we, we use that one and that one. So the only one left, why is he laughing? Why is he laughing? Well, because um, somebody told a funny joke. Someone told a joke, excuse me, which reminds me if you go to, excuse me, engvid.com, Sounds like I work for them. Engvid.com. Some excellent videos on um, just search for jokes. Learn English through jokes. And you'll see mostly Alex, the teacher, um, tell some jokes. And that's something very hard in, in, in any language to translate humor, but it's uh, worth looking at. Usually my class is one of five or six jokes people might get a little bit the first time. So uh, try that, engvid.com. All righty. Let's keep keep going. Uh, now we have uh, we need to put things in the correct order. And some of them are yes, no. Some of them are, are uh, WH. So in fact, uh, this, let's look at some examples. The first one, if, if you look through here, there's no WH word, so it must be a, a yes, no. Is working Paul today? So the correct order is Paul working today? Answer, yes or no. And the second one, well, here's here's the, the WH word. And in fact, I'll kind of give it away a little bit. These have WH word at the start, and that's exactly where that word goes. So what the children are doing, well, correct order, what are the children doing? This next one's yes, no. You are listening to me. Well, that's statement order. So question order is, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Answer, yes, no. Number four, here's your WH, where your friends are going. Almost sounds like a statement. So question order, where are your friends going? Well, they're going to a movie. Number five, yes, no again, are watching your parents' television. So the correct order is, are your parents watching and I'll, I'll abbreviate TV. Number six, what Jessica is cooking. Well, this, this part sounds like a statement. So we start with the WH, what, and then 
is Jessica cooking? What is Jessica cooking? She's cooking pasta. Number seven, why you are looking at me? And again, that part is, is like a statement. So, WH word, why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Well, because, uh, like, like me, you have something on your, you have something on your head, you have something on your forehead. And number eight, is coming the bus? Well, that has to be, is the bus coming? Is the bus coming? So, um, answer could be, let, let's just do a couple of short answers here to get ready for the next, uh, next and uh, last exercise. So, is the bus coming? You could say, uh, yes, it is. That's the only short answer. You could say, no, it isn't, or, no, it's, no, it's not. Two possible short answers in the negative. So, uh, let me read all of these for you, just so you can hear the correct order. So, uh, I'll start here. Is Paul working today? What are the children doing? Are you listening to me? Where are your friends going? Are your parents watching TV or television? What is Jessica cooking? Why are you looking at me? Is the bus coming? Yes, it is, or no, it isn't, or no, it's not. So let's pause for a minute. I'm going to eat another one of these, uh, these little mandarin things. And I'm going to ask again, questions? And uh, nobody's telling me if my mic is working. I, I'm going to just assume it's working. Okay, and the last, uh, the last piece the last little piece is some some uh, is a little uh, workout on the short answer, so that's a good way to to end. So, and um, 
<clears throat> Excuse me, all of these then are, are yes, no, because this is the kind of question you, you give a short answer to. So, number one, are you watching TV? No, I'm not. That's the only possible short answer negative. Um, if, uh, if it's yes, it would be yes, I am. Also, the only short answer. So I'll, I'll answer these both ways for you. Positive, negative. Okay, number two. Are you wearing a watch? Well, my, my real answer is um, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, if I were, if I, if I were wearing a watch, a watch, if I were wearing a watch, I, I might say, um, like number one, yes, I am. And those are the only two short answers. So uh, let me uh, erase that. Well, you know what? I won't erase it. I'll just move me. So I don't want to, uh, I want that to stay there so you can look at it. Number three, are you eating something? Well, actually, um, here I'll, I'll make this real. So, are you eating something? Are you eating something? Yes, I am. Yes, I definitely am. Um, or now, are you eating something? No, I'm not. So with uh, I, there's only these two possible answers, one affirmative, one with yes, and one with no. Now over here, is it raining? Notice it with the weather. Is it raining? Well, we could say yes, it is. That's the only positive answer. We could say, no, it's not, or no, it isn't. Two ways, either one, okay. So, um, and I'll, I'll read these over after we finish all of them, all six of them. Number five, are you sitting on the floor? Notice the double T because consonant, vowel, consonant, S-I-T. Are you sitting on the floor? Well, actually, no, I'm in a chair, so, so I would, I would say no, I'm not, or like, uh, like all of these over here, yes, I am. And um, are you feeling all right? Well, except for a little sore, soreness in the tooth, so little soreness in the tooth. So maybe maybe I should say, are you feeling all right? No, I'm not. It's my tooth. No, I'm not. Or, another time, yes, I am. 
So let me read, let me read all these. Are you watching TV? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Are you wearing a watch? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Are you eating something? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. And now number four has, has two possible negatives. Is it raining? No, it's not. Or no, it isn't. Or is it raining? Yes, it is. Are you sitting on the floor? No, I'm not. Or, yes, I am. Are you feeling all right? No, I'm not. Or, yes, I am. So there we have um, present progressive or present continuous question form, both um, both the yes-no type question and the WH type question. So let me go over here and see if anybody has questions. And I'll just, uh, I'll eat a little bit, give you a chance. I hope I didn't uh, rush through that too fast. Uh, next time, when we come back, we'll um, look at part five, which is the simple present, which is always fun. Simple present. And don't forget, you can um, you can check this link up here for these exercises. So um, until next time, ciao. And uh, enjoy. And thanks for watching.